Good morning. This video is brought to you by Sutco. Hiring class one drivers in residual. Preston, Kelowna, West Kootenays and Vernon. Logging division in Penticton and Princeton. International, Kettle Falls, Washington and Priest River, Idaho. clear to pull on here. Let's go get our trailer. Uh, they've also got positions in uh, Human Resource Business Partner in Nelson, Health and Safety Manager in Salmo or Nelson, Logistics Broker in Kelowna, Inside Sales Representative in Kelowna, and then uh, Remote Transportation Broker. Just head over to thesutherland.group slash Join our team. Or you can email james.guy at sutco.ca directly. I'm stopping, kid. I'm stopping, but careful. Careful. No trailer, which means my gra brakes grab really, really trickily. Trickily? Sure, sure, we'll go with that. Just picking up the, yeah, just picking up the truck at Kenworth. I am a little disappointed in their service. They did not grease my fifth wheel. So it'll be going dry on the trailer. The trailer has quite a bit of grease under it, but it's going on drier than I would like it. So next chance I have, I'll uh, disconnect, disconnect the truck and trailer and grease her up. Dropped my trailer off at Petro Pass. I talked to the owner. Because as long as you fuel up here, you can drop your trailer. So that's what I did. I rarely drop the trailer. In Penticton, it's illegal to drop your trailer anywhere. You'll have a ticket on the trailer, as I found out the hard way. It must, the trailers must be connected to a truck. If you connect it to a truck, you can park in industrial areas, but no trailer or no truck, no go. So if I just want to drop the truck off in the shop. So yeah, grabbing our trailer and then we're going to head south to OK Falls. We're going to load in... Uh, Grand Forks tomorrow first thing. Getting all the reds. too many gears. It's the downside to an automatic is like it'll go through all the gears even if you don't have a trailer behind you. Not necessarily all the gears, it usually skips two gears on the low range but I see my buddy still there. He said he was leaving today morning. I see four-way flashers on it so oh it, it, it's moving so it looks like he's doing his pre-trip right now.
This car's only in the way. It's right in front of my trailer. <laughs> Should I just back into him? There we go. <laughs> Can't see a dang thing. It's so blinding backing up in the sun. Alright, we'll do a walk around and do all our checks. Where are you off to? Um, dumping my trailers in the West Kelowna yard and grabbing some wine to take to... Uh, oh, okay, Vans. so you're gonna be now permanently Vans? Yeah. Distracted, not distracted. Yeah, not yeah stop being distracted. I had a marker light out. Yeah. Nobody has these marker lights. Yeah. So I unscrewed it, took it into places. Then nobody has them. I screwed it back in and then it worked. I'm like, oh. Just a just a short somewhere. <laughs> wiring issue. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I don't know why they can't just use the round ones that everyone uses. I bet we could just put those little those little tiny ones in here. Yeah. As as these go, drill a hole, put a tiny little one in. Yeah. I might it do just that. Has to be a light. Yeah, and those little LEDs are really easy to replace. Not I might only that, but you've got more lights than you need. Way more than I need. Yeah. Yep, they're they're definitely definitely more lights than you legally need. I, uh, but once you put them on there, these things are so dark that you have to pop the oh really lid to do see. You ever, do you have a flashlight? Uh, if, it, if you set, shine a flashlight in. Oh, to the. Basically, like that. Okay. Oh, yeah, then you can see. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'll have to do that. There. All the lights work. Tires are all good. Groceries, so. No, I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Cool. Throw that away. All right. Well, have a good week. Yeah. No just this week, so. I'm going to run Highway 20, that seasonal highway, tomorrow. Oh, yeah. From, from OMAC up and over to Burlington. Oh, okay. Because I'm supposed to deliver Burlington. I'm crossing a Soyuz. I'm like, weather's still good. I'm yeah. taking this epic highway. Yeah, might as well. I've done that one once with a truck now. Yeah. I'm doing it again. I mean, once you know, right? Yeah. As long as it doesn't snow up there. Yeah. Alrighty, have a good one. You too. He has to still go and buy some groceries. You like that rattle? I certainly don't. Oh, 
Cookie Monster, what are you doing down there? And we'll get you up here. There we go. Oh, oh, I was going to move that camera. Don't need two rear-facing cameras. I'm over here close to industrial. Might as well take industrial out to Highway 97. <clears throat> Make my life a little easier. There we go, that's a long red. <clears throat> oh, it actually skipped four gears on that one. Downhill. That's it's not four full gears. It'd be two full gears plus, you know, high and low. Or direct. whole driving into the sun's not cool oh we got a green light come on stay green stay green stay green I don't think it's gonna stay green it's gonna be too far ready to slam on the brakes okay we're going cool oh, that driver's doing his pre-trip we're all getting ready to go I always tell Jess not to ruin the magic or the... It is Sunday night. All us truckers get working at Sunday night. We're back at Kenworth. Oh look, there's another driver getting ready to go over there at Kenworth. Whole trucking industry is getting ready to go. It's uh, 5.49. I know, get home Friday night, leave Sunday afternoon. Go, 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 go.
Someone took out the sign in the center. Median there. I thought I was running early, but looking at GPS and arrive times, I'm not going to be all that early. off tonight because I'm headed to the US tomorrow. Channel Parkway. The channel is completely empty. It's too cold now. All the tourists have gone home. Nobody's floating down the channel anymore. It is 16 degrees Celsius, so in the shade it's a bit on the cool side. are all going to want in this lane, aren't you? Uh, the sport car might want to take East Side Road down to OK Falls. I do want in this lane. <laughs> Poor planning. Now he's got to show off that he's not embarrassed. door seems a little loud. Yeah, it wasn't clicked all the way in.
never understand people that hit the brakes while they're pulling in front of you. And then more brakes. Come on. Just pass me at the speed limit. You're good. Scaha Lake is empty for a Sunday. is going to be around 80,000 pounds so I might not actually be heavy haul I'm, I'm, I know it's not going to be oversized I think it's just like 2x4s or 2x6s going to a trust place to Burlington Welcome to Kaledon. Kaledon is kind of a long, narrow town that goes from here all the way down right to the shore of Skaha Lake. scales uh, open on a day like this. Clean scale you just never know. It's closed like 90% of the time but when it's open it is completely random. Looks like she's all locked up.
But if you're going to have a scale that is closed probably more than 90% of the time, that's the best thing to do is to have it open at such a random time that nobody knows when it's going to be open. The uh, huge radio observatory is going to exit right, right here. That, that black, the black sign with the white writing is for the Dominion Radio Astrophysical Observatory. Waterman's Hill. Oh, somebody blew up their engine there. the oil on the road. It's only 6 p.m. now and uh, it's starting to get pretty dark out. I have to make a note for myself to make sure I start all my videos before 5 p.m. Well, I'm sure we'll get some videos of our night shift videos. In the winter, you just can't help it. Sometimes it just doesn't work out otherwise. Now this corner, if you don't take the corner wide, you run on the sidewalk, so I just take both lanes here.
works out pretty darn good. Pickleberries is still open, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We need to go get ourselves some ice cream. Coming up on Vasu Lake. No just this week, so I'm gonna be lonely. I, I haven't had a chance to read any uh, comments from you guys yet, so I don't have any uh, questions to answer or comments to comment on. So I'm kind of out of stuff to say. I'm trying to think some questions were. Oh, it just looks cold outside now it says 15 degrees it's not cold but it just looks cold <laughs>
vineyards called ram ramifications because of the bighorn mountain sheep we often see here. McIntyre Bluff up there. Also known as Indian Head Mountain because of the, the face. See the big nose, kind of have the outline of a face on the cliff face. I'm not sure if that's a native, the natives called it something with a face in it, or if that's a white man's term. Probably a white man's term, settler's term. Nobody passed me. <clears throat> this is the community of Ga Gallagher Lake. Over here, there's on the left-hand side. Yeah, it's left-hand side. All those little buildings here. There's a lot of different wineries, tasting rooms over there. So you can come to that center there and uh, go. A lot of different wineries have set up a tasting room there. So you can go from winery to winery to winery without having to drive many miles. You want to do some wine tasting but don't want to drive around all day um, that's a good spot to stop and do some wine tasting there's like a whole bunch of wineries there
Welcome to Oliver. I like it when car signal is so early. I know I can slow down. Good job. I couldn't see what movie was playing at the theater, the bright blue building on the left hand side.
right. Sorry, you guys, I didn't have a lot to say. Hopefully tomorrow I've got lots of stuff to say. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to shoot tomorrow's videos, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. For now, I almost said we are out of here. I am out of here. Thank you guys for all your support. Hopefully you enjoyed that. It's one of the things I do, you know what? You guys get what I get. It is a real look into trucking. You only get Forty-five minutes, thirty minutes, an hour, whatever it turns out to be, of trucking, but that is an actual straight cut. No, no jump cuts, no thrilling stuff. I know I could make these videos way more interesting by doing eight hours of recording and then cutting it down to fifteen minutes. It would be way more dramatic and exciting and cool video, but I do not have the time for that. I guess if I did that, I could only make one video a week. And I certainly can't afford an editor. Not yet, anyway. And I like the idea of doing something different than everybody else does. I don't see anybody else on YouTube doing a one take shot of what it's like to be trucking. So ask me a whole bunch of questions so I have something to talk about. Ask me anything. Ask me the dumb questions that you think is a dumb question and everybody should know the answer to, but you don't. Because those are always good talking points. Anyhow, I am out of here. You guys absolutely rock. <laughs>